Hey everybody, welcome to another installment of Cooking with Brad. So, this week, I decided I wanted to make something simple, but simple's a little boring sometimes. I've made simple things before. So, instead of something simple, I decided to make something simple and then make it fancy. So, tonight, we're going to be making Spam and Cheese Sandwiches. Pretty simple, right? Ah, not so this time. Now, instead of showing you all the ingredients at once, I'm going to kind of dole them out and explain them as we go. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're starting with. This will be the foundation for our Spam and Cheese Sandwiches. I have a can of Spam that I probably won't use all of. And for buns, I went with Lawson's El Chicky Buns, which are intended to be used with their boneless fried chicken, but I find work very well with any kind of sandwich material. Uh, the drawback is that they're only sold at Lawson, individually, and they're not always in stock. Plus, they're a little more expensive than your average bun. However, I wanted a really nice sandwich, so that's what I went with. Anyway, let's slice up some Spam. All right, that's half a can of Spam, and that should be enough. So, we're going to fry it tonight in Tabasco soy sauce. That's right. I found this the other day, and I thought this would be great to fry up our Spam in. All right, let's get started. Well, I already flipped these over, and I think they're coming along real nicely. They smell pretty good, too. We'll give them just a little bit longer, and then we'll move on. All right, so while that Spam finishes up, let's go ahead and heat this bun up just a little bit in the microwave. All right, let's load the Spam onto the bun. That looks good, but I did say it was a Spam and cheese sandwich, so... Where's the cheese? Ah, there it is. So tonight we'll be using Emmental cheese, which is very similar to Swiss cheese. I picked this up the other day, and I think this will make the sandwich a little fancier. Well, that looks good enough to eat, but we're not quite done yet. I did say I was gonna make it fancy, and I haven't put a vegetable on it yet, so I thought we might try some watercress. So when I think watercress, I think fancy. That is a mess of watercress. I think it's time to eat. All right, moment of truth. I have a Lawson El Chiqui bun with Tabasco soy sauce fried Spam slices, Emmental cheese topped with watercress. I have no idea how this is gonna taste. Let's give it a try. All right, so take a nice big bite here. Hmm. All right, that's not too bad. All right, Let me take a cross section here. So Spam already has a very distinct flavor, that very salty, meaty taste. But with the spicy soy sauce that it's fried in, that definitely changes the flavor, and I, I like it. The Emmental cheese gives it a nice bit of a smoothness, and then the watercress, I'm not really sure. It's kind of a wild card on there. I think I'm going to need another bite here. Hmm. Yeah, I actually like this. This is pretty good. I mean, you've got bread, meat, cheese, and a vegetable. That's kind of your four food groups right there. This is kind of a complete meal in a sandwich. The watercress definitely gives it kind of a nice crunch and very fresh taste. I think I'm going to have, um, have one more bite here on camera. All right. Okay, this was not difficult to make. You can buy Spam pretty much anywhere in almost any country. Buns, sure, you might not be able to get the Lawson bun, but you can buns pretty much anywhere as well. The Emmental cheese could easily be replaced by Swiss cheese, or if you want something simple, get some processed sliced cheese, who cares? And as for the watercress, I mean, it's optional. Put some lettuce on there if you'd rather, or a tomato or something. I just wanted to try something simple and then spruce it up to make it interesting, all right? Anyway, I've got almost half of this thing left. I'm going to finish it off camera. But as always, I appreciate you guys stopping in. I'll see you in the next one.